Working the night that Chuck Bass was brought into the hospital? Yes, I remember that night well. Do you happen to recognize this woman? Yes, she arrived at the hospital the night of the accident. She donated blood and left quickly before Mr. Bass regained consciousness. Thank you so much. You've been a huge help. Sure. Hi, this is Serena Vanderwoods. I'm calling for Miss Payne. I'm sorry, she's not available at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, do you know where I might find her? I need to speak with her immediately. I, I have a lead on a story that I know she'll want to break before the Daily News. Okay, uh, just a second. She'll be attending a salon at Daniel Humphreys this evening. It's located at... Yeah, okay, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Any interest in uh, taking a little field trip out to the 718? Sure. I haven't been slumming in a while. everybody. Tonight is about wit and wisdom and discussion. Our theme of the evening, as you know, is all things British. And our menu, prepared by Chef April Bloomfield, takes its inspiration from that theme. So as each new dish is served, a new topic of discussion will be introduced. Food service will begin momentarily, but until then, Dan and I are so pleased to be hosting you. Cheerio! <gasps> You're here! Sorry, I'm late. Late? Uh, how can you be late to an event you didn't even know was happening? <laughs> what are you doing here? In the madness of planning this story, you must have forgotten to invite me. But it's okay. Don't stop on account of me. I'll just make myself at home. Um, the first course is a lovely combination. Look, okay. it's Lola. I'm wearing the Lola. But you invited her? Yes. No. Talk amongst yourselves. Dan and I will be back in 11 minutes. I am trying to maintain a stiff British upper lip, but how can I keep calm and carry on with those two here? Uh, so Serena will spend the whole night judging us, and Lola is probably just trying to squeeze every last drop of free press out of the night so she can move on from the community theater circuit. Blair, our salon can easily handle a few party crashers, and besides, you should be at least a little flattered that they both made it all the way to Brooklyn to check it out. Look, tonight is gonna be great. Deal? <laughs> I'm not sure. Nate invited me. What are we doing here? Lola invited us. Hi, hi, hi. Where do you get off inviting people to my salon? Explain yourself. Yes, Lola, I think an explanation's in order. Nate, listen to me. Entrees are almost ready, but I've run out of ice, and I need the ice to finish off my dessert and my special cocktail. I think Meryl Streep is perfect. In the world of the novel, London has become the very idea of the big city. I need to speak with you. Excuse me. Graham Greene, Martin Amos, discuss. Hey, don't freak out, but since everybody's crashing, April's running short on ice. We need to run out and get some more, so dinner's gonna be delayed. How long? No, you know what? We can handle this. WWDPD. What would Dorothy Parker do? Uh, get them drunk until we get back. Of course. A, a liquid diet of booze and great intellectual discussion should suffice. Can I top off anyone's wine? Nothing gets conversation flowing like a good red. Dan, why are we discussing British literary figures when we have New York's most celebrated author in our midst? An author with an announcement, perhaps? Good evening, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Oh, Diana, just the person I was hoping to see. Do you, do you have a moment to speak privately? Sure. And we're off to get the ice. 